Hey guys, and welcome back to the Solo Survival World playthrough. It's my first ever attempt at doing this. I'm super happy with uh, the progress so far. Let's talk about what we're doing today. I have died a couple times in the nether, just trying to get, uh, honestly, nether quartz to build those pillars down there uh, and use my builds, but mostly get experience so I can enchant my armor. But I didn't ever realize how much netherite you needed to make uh, a new set of tools and armor and things. And it turns out you just need one ingot. Hey, what's up, bud? We got villagers everywhere. You just need one ingot. You don't need to make everything from scratch. I didn't know that. I didn't know that till right this minute. So the first thing we're doing today is making us a new netherite pickaxe. The first netherite pickaxe ever made because I just happened to have one netherite ingot, but we have the best we have a we have a god pickaxe going and if we throw netherite on this thing oh baby barring dying haha <laughs> of course because i never die uh, i hope to keep it forever i'm super excited we're gonna make this upgrade uh and i can't wait but right before we do that i keep saying before we do that right before we do that let's do Let's talk about what we're doing today on the server. Uh, we got a portal here right in the middle of everything. This was before we cleared this island, which we saw earlier in the recap. Um, so this is actually really bad placement. Um, I learned something new. Uh, half of my villagers are in there. We will see them. Uh, and the iron golem actually standing there protecting them. So it's actually okay. Um, but I'm gonna have to find a way to coax them back out of here and put this in an enclosure or just move it to the back of this, the island eventually. Uh, Probably just gonna move to the back of the island or put it at the top of a tower or something. I don't know. I need villagers to stop walking into it because I need them to sit in stalls like these guys and give me stuff from emeralds. But today I have a couple goals in mind. We are going to brave the nether and find us a nether fortress and attempt to get some blaze powder and whatever other goodies they have there um, because I've never done one. I've done one one time, but I didn't do it. I kind of just followed. So I'm doing this on my own off stream no one to help me and there's a chance that i die so stay tuned to see what happens i'm literally recording this before i do it i am terrified also we are going to talk about some new stuff though before we go do that uh that we have added in our basically our main build our house is going to be above this we're going to build like a more of a modest like manor type situation not a massive castle but everything underneath is going to be in this massive auto sorting system um, there are over 150 items in this game, so I am making a uh, uh, a plus sign of a of a build here. Going to go that way. Going to go backward that way. Going to go back that way. Which this has already been designed. There's going to be a loop of hoppers that go all the way around, and then basically every auto farm I have here, which we've we've established that the goal for this playthrough is. Or we actually, maybe we haven't established it. I'm going to talk about it anyways. Uh, is to have every single thing we do. This is just a random amalgamation of stuff. The super smelter, the little composter, and where I can do all the other bits and bobs, uh, random stuff here just to get things going. Uh, this will all be together in a forge area here. But everything is going to feed into this loop of hoppers. So this loop is going to go in a big plus sign. And at this, uh, the iron farm, every single thing that is automated is going to automatically be filtered into this uh, system and put in the chest down here. So I just don't have to go collect anything from random chests all over the place. It's just going to be in the storage system forever. It's going to be there every single time I need it. If I can execute this well, this will be a cornerstone of every single build I do from the future on because, oh my God, staying organized is so hard for me to remember. I have such bad ADD and all I want to, is for things to be done for me, just like anyone else. Uh, also, we are adding two new elements for you guys, the commentators, the viewers, and the uh, uh, chatters in the live stream. Uh, these is, this is my oxalotl farm. We have, uh, not farm, we have uh, aquarium. We have three. We got Jimmy Sideways. All right. He's he's nuts. Jimmy Sideways is nuts. We got Johnny Hopkins. We got Cornelius the third. And I'm going to be looking to add a new axolotl every single time we stream. So if you have an idea for a name for a new axolotl to, to be put into this aquarium, which is going to be insane, it's going to go, it's going to go underneath the stairs. It's going to go in the floor. It's going to be a pillar here in the middle. They're going to be able to swim all throughout the build through the walls. It's going to be really cool. And uh, by 
by the time we get this thing really going we're gonna have so many of these guys and we'll be able to say hi with them all the time and then maybe we'll put a pool up up top where they're able to come out and get some fresh air every once in a while i don't know i don't know how we're gonna do it but this is a pretty cool execution put some glowstone in there uh to give it some light at night it looks really really cool and you can always lit up obviously the water's all messed up and not set up in uh, uh, source blocks, but they can move around. They're not drowning or they're not uh, uh, stuck out of water. So I will fix that later. Obviously, everything's a work in progress. I'm super excited. I can't wait to get into the rest of the events of this uh, build or this world. But let's make a netherite pickaxe. Steven, St Steven, you're in the way. Let's make another right pickaxe. Woo. Okay, we got to go back into this little house, which I never finished because this turns out to not really be my house. I don't need a house. Uh, we just built this little crappy, mossy, didn't even finish the side over here. I don't care. I genuinely don't care. Uh, and basically, I'm like, you know what? A villager can live in here and uh, they can use the smithing table. But I'm going to use the smithing table. Take this diamond pickaxe. We got efficiency. This is the best thing I've ever made. It took me forever to do. Uh, got a lot of levels in order to do it. And I get to do this netherite for the first time in my career. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. We did it. We got a netherite pickaxe. Yeah. And now we are invincible. Except when we go in the nether, we get lost and then we die. Let's get into it. Me, got my netherite pickaxe. Boop. We'll see if we can get some more netherite, start adding it to this diamond armor. If I can netherite myself out, then we can go brave the fortress, uh, uh, the fortress, whatever, the nether fortress. That's what they're called, right? I don't know. I'm new. Um, and we'll do that in a bit, but first we're going to sleep. Boop. All right, let's go right in and let's see what we got. We'll say hi to the villagers as we go. So here's our iron golem. He is protecting our 18. Vi we got our butcher in here now. We got what? Seven of you? Oh my God, the, the armor is in here now. Guys, I might need to just hmm, grab some netherrack and like make them a little tunnel. I don't think they're comfortable getting out here. So let's let's actually see if we can coax them down. Oh, so what it is is the iron golem's blocking them. That's what it is. You silly goose, dude. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. You don't make me push you off. Is this serious? He's fine. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. No, no, not up. Not up. We don't. We don't want to. Please get down. So this should make it so they can only go back to, to the. Ooh, we don't want that. They can only go back to the portal. Hopefully, they'll get sucked into it. All right. Now, our tunnel downwards. I cannot remember where it is. So we might just start a new one. I don't remember. Let's show chunks. Uh, F3 and G. There we go. And we go along the edges of the chunk. So let's let's farm up some stuff, dude. So great, we are level thirty-one. Um, let's go over here and let's level up our. What do we have? What is the protection on here? Thorn protection three and thorns. That's not great. So let's get um, grab our as right. It's right here. Lapis. Sorry. We'll go legs. Protection four. Not blast protection, but protection four. All right, let's see what we can put on our helmet. Protection three and aqua affinity. Ugh, bleh, gross. So before we do that, though, we are going to update, upgrade our chest piece and our leg piece. Now, you know what? It's okay. We're just going to do it. Um, we could have went for better and chance, but I think that we'll be able to combine them later. And we are partially nether netherited out. That is freaking exciting. I am excited. This sword kind of sucks. It needs uh, some sort of damage piercing or slashing or something. But the pickaxe is nasty. So that's good. All right. Uh, and then let's go back and see if we can get a little bit more netherite. I would love to get... Every actually, I would love for uh, to finish off uh, my armor with netherite first. And with any luck. And then, uh, and then we'll go to the fortress. Ooh. Did it? I threw my I did not So wait in my panic I th I threw I threw my I threw my netherite pickaxe into the Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, that would have bummed me out to the maximum. You know what? F you, dude. Oh, okay. Whew. Crisis averted. Let's keep going up slowly. I can't believe it. We've actually made it here. I'm almost full netherite out, except for those, uh, you know, gold boots, because I still don't want the piglins or the brutes to fight me too much. But we are going to go into a fortress. And I think that I know where one is. Um, I may have cheated and used uh, the, 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 the seed map. I'm so sorry, uh, but I'm a noob and I don't really want to make it harder for no reason because I am doing this for the first time on hard. We are not going on easy. We are on hard. And I have a reputation to uphold. An idiot who plays on games too hard and then dies all the time and gets angry about it. That's, that's the legacy. Anyway, we're going back in and we're doing this thing and it's going to be incredible. So let's do it. Straight down our really, really... Uh, efficient and fun to walk downstairs. I don't know why I turn like this. I just physically need to do it. I'm like doing it in real life right now, like dodging. I don't even know how to do these. So this could go really poorly. It probably will actually. There's a very good chance this goes bad, but I have to do it. You gotta take the plunge. Ooh, yeah, let's be very careful here. And uh, slowly get up here because I haven't heard of <laughs> That's my impression of a gas. Nether, fortress, pog. Hey, oh, all right. We need to put, we need to mark this up. I need blaze, so we need blazes. I might just farm some blazes. And then we need to get some nether wart, which I believe is also here. I don't know how to do this. I'm terrified right now. <gasps> the nether wart. I'm gonna make so many potions. Do I have a blaze rod? I don't. Okay, so I gotta go up maybe to get to that blaze spawner. Some more towers. There's a blaze spawner. So let's actually build this across. So actually, let's do this. They can't see me. Anyway, uh, okay, we're gonna leave this here for now. I'm gonna explore a little bit more because I think there's more towers like this. I can't remember how to get out of here. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's okay, we'll find it eventually. We got lots of food. All right, let's go home. Let's start making some potion. Some nether wart and stiff. Look at us. I'm not wearing shoes, but look at us. We have all of the netherite today was a netherite day another 11 ancient debris here i'm so excited and we got our nether war and we got our blaze rods we got blaze spawners up and uh ready to be turned into farms i got two of them over there so what we're gonna do uh, but we're not gonna do it today uh, we will do it later in this episode but we're gonna get into the blaze spawners and turn them into some blaze farms look at me netherite Woo!